method of uh, sections, cut, we cut open a member and we expose the, the only force that was in that member, okay? Because it was a two force member, okay? But if it's more complicated, right? And then, then we use our equilibrium equations, we solve for our unknowns. And in general, if our answer comes out negative, it was because we drew it the wrong direction to begin with. All right, but for members that aren't two force members, uh, if we want to cut it right here and solve for the internal forces at that cut, all right, that's what I'm gonna do. I want to cut it and solve for the internal forces at that cut. What would I do? It's kind of similar. I mean, you cut it and you throw away one half or the other, right? I don't, don't try to keep it together. Don't try to look at both. You could, you could go back and redo the problem looking at the other half, but cut it. So I'm going to cut it and I'm going to keep this side. So when you throw away this half, you throw away everything on that half. You, I mean, you throw away the F4, the F3, there's nothing there and you replace it with the internal forces at the cut. All right. So the internal forces at the cut. So what internal forces? So if, so if I've cut it, and throwing away this side, or maybe y'all, I'm cutting it. If I've thrown away this side, what forces can we have at that cut? I don't know if y'all did this in statics, but we can have N, V, and a moment M. N, V, and M. Three unknowns at a 2D cut. Uh, and we're going to draw the N all the way. In, at least to be all the end point in tension. It's perpendicular to the cut. N is perpendicular to the cut. Uh, and let's write that. N is a normal force. You all know normal means perpendicular. Uh, normal force. Uh, this is the force perpendicular to the cut. Force perpendicular to the cut. V. If we're cutting it this way, and if we're coming from this direction, V is going to be down. V is a shear force, and that's S-H-E-A-R, shear force. This is the force uh, parallel to the cut or the, the, the let's say, the I, I really should be saying the cross-sectional area. <clears throat> Cross-sectional, there's an L, uh, cross-sectional area. And then there's an M, and that's the internal moment. We're going to call it the bending moment. Bending moment. It would bend it like a smiley face or a frown, uh, and a smiley face is positive. All right, we need to use, for 2D, I want you to use positive sign convention. And so it's, it's equal and opposite whether you cut it and you keep the right half of it versus whether you cut it and you keep the left half of it. Uh, but N is always positive outward. Positive N points out of the cut. Positive N points out of the cut. This would be tension. Positive V uh, would rotate the beam clockwise. I don't know, do you see how this, if you got a force on that side of it pushing that way, my beam, it would cause kind of a clockwise rotation. And positive M um, would create upward concavity. Upward concavity, right? Smiley face. That's terrible. All right, smiley face. Okay, uh, I, I'm not real big on V, but these two, 
Uh, getting the, the moment positive is a concave up. This is a positive moment, right? Um, and N is positive outward. Uh, those are going to be two that, that will kind of show up over and over throughout the semester, especially that in positive outward. <clears throat> All right. So, so what do we do? So we cut it, draw N, V, and M in the positive sign convention. And then sum of the forces in X equals zero, sum of the forces in Y equals zero, sum of the moments equals zero to solve for N, V, and M. So then we use our equilibrium equations to solve for N, V, and M. Now this is, this is status. This is a review, hopefully. So we're not going to, next week, we're going to take N, V, and M and keep going, kind of figure out, okay, if it has an internal normal force, what does that cause? What is it feeling? What is it stress? Uh, but for now, we just need to be able to solve for N, V, and M. Okay, uh, if you like steps, this is just kind of what I uh, do for stacks. If you like steps, all right. So in order to solve for N, V, and M with three equations, you've got to know everything else, right? So, so before you cut it, before you cut it, go ahead and solve for any unknown uh, supports, reactions, and you can be smart about it. You know, you can think ahead that, hey, I'm going to cut it and I'm only keeping this half of it. So I don't even, I don't have to solve for the pin over there on that half. So maybe you don't have to solve for everything, but solve for everything on your half of the beam that you're going to keep. All right. So then uh, what do you do? You cut the member. You draw N, V, and M in the positive sign convention. And then you solve N, V, and M with your three equilibrium equations. And let's make a note. It matters where you cut it, right? So it matters whether you cut it at the middle or if you cut it, you know, on the right side or you know, the internal forces are different throughout the, the stretch of the beam. Um, so let's say internal forces, internal forces can be different at different locations. So, you know, either pay attention, am I telling you to cut it at B or cut it at C? Um, all right, so internal forces can be different at different locations and can be different. I, I need a better way to uh, write this down. Uh, at different orientations, can be different at different orientations, all right? Now, nine times out of 10, if I tell you to cut it at B for a beam like this, I want you to cut it straight up and down. Right, I want you to cut it perpendicular to the axial, the, the longer, longer direction. Okay, um, but if you cut it at an angle, you'll have a different N and V. I don't know about M sometimes, but if you cut it at a different angle, what, what does that mean? That means, so let me kind of just show, if I wanted you to cut it right there, 
our n would be perfect got to be perpendicular to the cut right our v would be right there and so you can imagine that that you're going to solve get different answers if you cut it at a different orientation all right your m we, we might do a problem that the m might stay the same uh no matter the orientation but n and v will definitely change okay. anyway just be, pay attention and, and cut it perpendicular unless i explicitly tell you exactly to, to cut it differently